Hello, hello, pretty makers. Today I have some Halloween Dollar Tree DIYs I think you're going to love. I really had so much fun making these projects. I have been thinking about them for a while, but couldn't find some of the supplies until now. They really came out so great. I can't wait to show you, so if you're ready, let's go make something pretty. I think this is one of my favorite DIYs I've done in a while. It's a Dollar Tree crystal ball. Not just any crystal ball, this one is pretty cool. So let's get started. The basics for what you will need are two of the Dollar Tree skeleton hands, an extra large snow globe, or extra large clear Christmas ornament, and a Dollar Tree wood round. I'll leave the full list of what I used in the description. The first thing I did was shape the hands. I don't have video of this because as I was testing it out, I got so excited I forgot the camera. All you have to do is heat the joints in the fingers with a blow dryer maybe 30 to 40 seconds, and then bend them inwards towards the palms. They should bend pretty easy. Just hold them in position for a few minutes until the plastic cools. Then work on the wrists. The same process, heat and bend. Bend the wrists backwards. For the base, I used a Dollar Tree wood round. I found two nails that would fit in the small holes of the bottom of the hands. The nails will be used to give the hands some support on the stand. I played with how I wanted to position the hands. I needed some height for the crystal ball, so I used the condiment container from Dollar Tree, turned it upside down, and added a silver napkin ring. Once I had a good idea where the hands would be placed, I made two pilot holes for the nails. Next, spray paint the bottom of the snow globe, the wood round, and the condiment container and let them dry. I used champagne mist. This part is optional, but I glued some fake nails to the fingertips of the hands. I think this gives them a more authentic look. Now we can move on to painting the hands. I played with a combination of colors, warm buff, black, and some antique wax. But first a quick tip, don't make the same mistake I did. Even though I used multi-surface paint, I did not do the proper prep, and the paint peeled a lot. To prep, wash the hands well with soap and water and wipe them down with alcohol. If you have it, apply a sealer or primer first. I have a new appreciation for sealer after this project. It saved a day for me in the end. If you don't do the prep, the paint will peel and chip very easily. Give the hands two coats of the warm buff, letting the coats dry really well in between. I painted the tips of the fingers black, a little down past the nails, and feathered the paint down the fingers. This really gives a great effect and was really easy. I also added a small amount of antique wax to give some texture. Let the paint dry really well and seal everything with a sealer. This stopped the paint from chipping and peeling. I used Min Wax water-based polyacrylic protective finish. It saved the day. I made some rings out of Dollar Tree diamond wrap and I also added some of the Dollar Tree pearl and crystal stickers around the edge of the wood round. Now let's put it all together. 
Hammer the nails into the wood round. Slide the hands onto the nails and glue them in place. Glue the small container upside down to the center of the wood round, then the napkin ring on top. I used a light from the Dollar Tree Floral Crystal Filler and placed it inside of the napkin ring. Then placed the extra large clear ornament upside down on top of the light. Add the rings to the fingers of the hands. Place it all on top of the Dollar Tree gold candlestick. And that's it, you're done. This really came out so cool. And now let's amp it up. Instead of the diamond wrap rings, I added some old rings I had in my jewelry box and a big brooch to the base. I swapped out some other diamond wrap I had from Dollar Zone that I thought looked a little better. This took it to the next level. I absolutely love the way it came out. The hands have a realistic look, especially with the rings. This piece will give any decor a high-end seasonal look. This next DIY is a classic Halloween sign. I've been obsessed with signs lately. I hope to get a cricket soon. But anyway, when I saw the dog placemat, I thought it had the perfect shape for a sign. I used a Dollar Tree wood letters to spell Sleepy Hollow Farms, a Dollar Tree wood truck blank with the pumpkins, and some black rub-on transfer letters for the bottom. I'll leave a full list of supplies in the description. I thought I might use part of the frame from one of the Dollar Tree signs. I didn't use it in the end, but I did use something else from the sign. We'll get to that in a minute. First paint all the letters black as well as the base of the truck. I stain the rails on the truck to give it a little bit of interest. Some silver for the hubcaps. Then I made some burnt orange color for the pumpkins. I then distressed the truck with some brown. There's no right or wrong with distressing, just have some fun. I added a little white accent on each of the letters, again for some interest. And then I distressed the placemat itself with some black and brown, as well as some antique wax. The object here was to make it look like distressed planks. At the last minute, I cut the bat swirl from the Halloween sign to use as an accent at the top. I gave it a quick stain of antique wax and watered down black paint. Cut out the rub on letters from the sheet, but be careful, they will come off easily. Now lay everything out on the placemat. Measure to make sure everything is centered and aligned. Take a tip from me and check it twice. Then hot glue everything in place to the placemat. Add the rub on transfers to the bottom. Make sure you're perfectly aligned before applying. I ended up with a wide gap between fresh and pumpkin, which almost ruined the whole project. I thought the plastic chain from the spider yardstick would make a good hanger. So I drilled two small holes on either side of the top of the placemat, 
and slip the chain link through the hole. And that's it, you're done. This really came out so good. But wait, how should I hang it? That takes us to the next DIY. I wanted to make a hanger that really fit the Halloween theme. Let me show you what I came up with. While I was browsing at Dollar Tree, I saw that the butterfly net handle was a bamboo stick. And that was the start of the inspiration. Just peel the plastic off the stick and then remove the net so that you just have the handle. I gave the stick a quick wash of brown paint. You could also use black paint, but stain didn't work. For the brush of the broom, I used two fern stems from Dollar Tree. I painted them with two coats of brown paint, front and back. Then just stabbed them with gold and copper paint. Just use the tip of the paintbrush dipped in half and half of each color. It makes a really nice effect. Once the leaves are dry, glue them to one end of the stick. It doesn't have to be neat, we'll cover all that, so use lots of glue. Wrap the tips with some twine to cover all the ends. Use a little hot glue to secure the twine in place. I added some cup hooks by drilling a small pilot hole in the handle and then screwing in the hook. I added three in total. The last step is to add some hangers from the back of a spare Dollar Tree frame. Hot glue didn't work well, so I used wood glue for the hangers. I also used a chain from the summer floral hanger for some character. And here it is all together. You can style this so many different ways. It definitely adds a lot of interest to your Halloween decor than just an average wall hook. I really love all the projects, but my favorite is the crystal ball. I'm still working on the crystal ball effect itself. Maybe add some glitter water or smoky effect. There's so many possibilities. Let me know what you would add. I hope you saw something today that inspired you. If you did, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave me some comments. I thank you for watching and keep making pretty things.